The planet Venus is a big weird ass anomaly in our solar system. It's going backwards, not in time thankfully, that would take a lot longer to explain. But as we covered in this video, all the planets in our solar system rotate counterclockwise, but not the feisty vixen Venus, she's got other ideas. That planet rotates in entirely the opposite direction to all the other planets. And that's just weird. But it's not only weird, it also makes you wonder, why is that? Now, because we don't like to string you along, so we give you the answer at the beginning of the show at Awesome Astronomy, rather than dragging the whole thing out in the hope of getting hours of your watch time, the reason for this is, well, it's unknown. It's a real mystery, but it's probably due to being whacked by another large object in the solar system or the sun's influence. But there are other theories, along with these, that we're going to look at if you do fancy hanging around. And you do. And I'm not going to lie, some of them are going to seem like absolutely crazy flights of fancy that go down rabbit hole after rabbit hole of cosmic coincidence. But all of them are possible. And one or two of them are probably right. Now this show is about why Venus rotates backwards, but it's also important to know that Venus also rotates really slowly. One rotation of Earth, what we call a day, takes almost 24 hours, but one rotation of Venus takes 5,832 hours, and that means that a day on Venus is 442 hours longer than its year. A sunrise on Venus is in the west, and the sun sets slowly in the east, which is crazy to think about, but the fact that it rotates at a barely perceptible pace might actually be a clue to why it rotates backwards too. The Earth's equator is rotating at a thousand miles an hour, whereas Venus's equator is moving at four miles an hour, about walking speed, which really isn't moving at all. If you haven't seen this video of ours on why the planets spin, you'll want to rewind to here after you finish this video and take a look, because everything in our solar system and every other star system is born spinning. The Sun, comets, Jupiter, asteroids and Venus, they were all spinning at the birth of our solar system, and something caused Venus to stop spinning and reverse its direction by four miles an hour. And it seems most likely that Venus was whacked by a large planet barreling through the inner solar system that hit it so hard from the other direction that it not only stopped its spin, but reversed it. After all, the leading theory for how our moon came to be is that it was formed as material was blasted away from the Earth after a giant collision with an object the size of Mars. While there's no other evidence for Venus taking a direct hit in the past other than this anomaly of its backwards rotation, it is possible. But if Venus was also whacked by another planet, why doesn't Venus have any moons or rings made of debris of that collision? After all, Saturn's rings are debris of moons, comets and asteroids that broke up as they got too close to the gas giant planet. And Earth probably had a much thicker ring system made of the debris from that collision all those years ago before it coalesced to form the moon. Well, it may well be that the smallest planet Mercury might have actually been a moon of Venus a long time ago. And that could be the case whether Venus was whacked or not, because if Mercury was a captured satellite of Venus, many moons in our solar system were pulled into the orbit of a larger planet, and Mercury is only a little bigger than our moon, or if Mercury was formed in a giant collision like our moon was, which does seem unlikely given you know, their different compositions, then the Sun's gravity could have pulled Mercury away from Venus, and that would change Venus's rotation. While there's no evidence for it, it is possible. But rather than a head-on celestial collision, maybe a planet in the early solar system swung by Venus really close without actually hitting it, and the gravitational tug of that object snarled up Venus's torque and slowed it down until it eventually began slowly spinning backward. While there's no evidence for that, it is possible. But we don't know what planet hit the Earth given as a moon. Maybe that was Venus. Again, while there's no evidence for it, it is possible. We often think of Mars as the closest planet to Earth, but Venus's orbit actually brings it closer. Maybe Mercury is what's left of that rogue planet after it hit Earth, given as a moon, 
and then hitting Venus, flipping its rotation, or even just slowing Venus's rotation, but flipping the whole planet upside down, making it look like it had started spinning the other way. Unlikely, but hey, the solar system was so chaotic in its infancy that sped up, it would probably look something like a giant game of planetary billiards being played by a certifiable loon. After all, the ice giant planet Uranus also has been knocked on its side by a collision that's four times larger than Venus, giving that a strange spin and rotation too. But two of the most crazy theories are actually the strongest contenders. The first is that the Sun's pull on the dense atmosphere of Venus caused strong atmospheric tides. And add to that friction between the planet's mantle and its core, and this could have caused the planet to both slow down and flip upside down. And the more recent theory, published by French astronomers in the journal Nature this century, also suggests that the Sun's gravity was the culprit. But the Sun didn't flip the planet in this theory, rather it acted like a wrench on its rotation, slowing it like a brake, and then the internal friction between the mantle and core caused it to begin rotating in the opposite direction a smidge. So there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of guesswork to come to the conclusion that we really don't know. But in all probability, a planetary collision or the sun's gravity slowed its rotation down, making it spin in the opposite direction. If you liked this video, give us a like and drop your thoughts in the comments below. You'll love the other space and astronomy subjects we cover in this playlist, and YouTube has cleverly, but scarily, picked out this video from what you've watched in the past as the one you'll like the most.